Howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Mm. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh. Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth? Uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No. Can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east. So, man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper tie for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs>
Forgive me, friend. I got most of the horses secure and the chickens. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice, then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang.
save the herd back there. You might make a decent rancher one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. Keep quiet now. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Come on. Let's see if we can find the old goat. for so long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for 10 years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life anyway. Stay with me. I've got a bad feeling about this. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. Who's that over there? Quick as you can! 
Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now, you head back to the ranch right now. Fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. It's a bad idea to split up right now. Come on, let's hurry. Come on. Please stay close. What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Those damn rustlers! I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize The outlaw it. with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer. Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire.
You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. What you searching for, partner? I've been gathering some flowers for my wife. She's waiting for me back in the cabin. That's very sweet of you. And we've been together 50 years now, me and my darling Annabelle. She always loved these, these wild fever few that uh, grow around this place. You know. But she's, she's getting on now in years, and she, it's hard for her to get up and about. So I, I want to... I want to bring her a lovely bouquet for our anniversary. I've seen quite a few flowers in my travels, if you'd like to help. Oh, yeah. Listen, these old fingers ain't what they used to be. Yeah, I'd love it. Sure, bring me, bring me any pretty ones you find, huh?
sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, good. Blimey. And I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Marston. How are you? A shame. A shame to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish. A Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find a, a parts for you. Ah. Mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? I'm afraid I'm married. Huh? What you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? Huh? Can I help? Drunk as I am, my fridge in fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Ooh, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Man, don't go get no Christ! Idea. The church has Yo, more money than boss. anybody. Ain't nobody that fucks. Where are we going, Irish? Yeah. Just Grand, to the warehouse here in Keith Landing. Rim. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office, hobble tongued fella by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. All right, we're here. Stay close. Damn it! That stuttering bastard said this would be open. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. I'm starting to think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good-for-nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. Shaky's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Sounds like Shaky's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shaky, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> Oh. Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. Good luck, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again. 
All right, work your usual magic. I'll go get the wagon ready. I'm gonna give you Jesse good and hard. For your kindness, Mister. I th 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 thought I, I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. All right, let's get out of here while we just got the chance. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d dirty f -f 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 fucking snake. Uh, All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> 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 fucking. Uh, fuck. 
love my virgin ears. But... Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Are you coming or not? Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. You got enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have Wes Dickens's wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stay close to Charlie.
busy, boy. There's gonna be some ladies coming out. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister.
There we go. That's one. Hello. Where are you going to go? I need to go to plane view. You got enough time for a nap. I can sure use a nap, partner. Watch your step. If you come.
Mr. Marston, sir. John Marston. Mr. Marston, don't be so childish. Come on, sir, I implore you. Okay, okay, okay. So I made a few innocent mistakes when last we met. But my plan is still sound. Together we can conquer, if not the world, and certainly Bill Williamson. But first, you need me to do you a favor? <laughs> you read my mind. I can only deduce you have been taking my tonic, sir, as instructed. It can give the most ordinary of intelligences a remarkable insight. I'll give you insight. I'll show you what your guts look like. Please, sir, this show of petulance is nothing short of embarrassing. Think for a moment, sir. Think. I'm thinking about how much of my time you're wasting. <laughs> um, sir. Sir, I am about to do something which I greatly discourage in all wise and rational men. A selfless act for you. But, sir, before I act selflessly, allow me to act selfishly and sell some of my wares. Fair enough. Oh, good, sir. Come, and let's go visit some of our fine friends in the other oil business we have here in Plainview. These men need all the help they can get. <laughs> they surely know where I am. Gentlemen, gather round, gather round. My friends, are you ready to change your lives forever? I have something truly extraordinary to show you today. Friends, hardworking souls of uh, Plainview, do you suffer from rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, neurologic, or inflammatory pain? Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article which cures headache, neuralgia, uh, toothache, earache, backache, This man is a fucking charlatan. He just got done swindling us down at Cho Springs with this song and dance. I say we tar and feather him right now. I say we shoot the uh, bastard. I think it's time we take our business elsewhere. Uh, I apologize if science is not your forte. Good day, one and all. Somebody get that thing back. I think it's time we relocated our business, John. Come on, John. I'm not waiting here much longer. Look, 
They've got the road clock up ahead. Ridgewood went through me like a dose of salt. 